All right, we did Bailey's video showing her third gen 4Runner that we just recently built. Tons of feedback, tons of questions. The bigger thing is, is that Bailey picked up her 4Runner. She loves it. With all the questions, I decided to bring in my personal third gen 4Runner. Uh, just to clarify, kind of the, a lot of the questions that we get with different parts that we make, what works, what doesn't work. So this right here is gonna be kind of our video, a little bit of a walk around. It's a 2000 sport model, built it. It's dumped a little bit lower than we, we usually do around here, but I did uh, hire, you know, old Andrew in there to do the work. So, you know, he likes to keep things low. The biggest question and the biggest concern, it does have two five coilovers in the front. What are you kidding me? I know Trevor's gonna hate me for saying this because we always tell people only two O's in the front of these. I made them work. I had to do a little bit of modifying, different towers. That's the only big difference between this kit versus anything else. Only other thing that's really, really evident that I did differently is actually the steering and I can show you. I went with full reed knuckles, R1143 crossover steering arm, FK Himes, and then this is our heavy duty tie rod that utilizes FK inch and a quarter Himes. So one inch bolt, comes with a spacer to do everything. It made things very, very tight spaced. I will say that. Like our usual kit comes with factory style 2005 and newer Super Duty drag link end. Our drag link adapts to that. It actually works out really well. That's what Bailey's Foreigner had on it. It works amazing. I will say that. This, I decided to do it because you know what? I'm in a place where we got to do some sort of R&D and why not do it on my own? <laughs> it fits very, very tightly in here. You know, I had the guys over in our gear and axle shop build my front axle. So it's a, you know, standard 2005 and up. Dana 60 out of a Super Duty. Uh, 1550 Spicer shaft upgrade, reed knuckles, Moog ball joints. You know, really simple. 538 gears of the Detroit. I am, I'm not a fancy guy. So there is no ARB in there. This thing was a, it was a mission for me to build something for the family. I wanted to make it reliable. I also wanted to make it go through the trail and I wanted no weak links and this is what I got with this whole thing. Drives amazing on the street. I run a little bit more caster than usual, but it's one of those things where I like to drive something with a lot of caster, it makes it drive straight on the freeway. In the back of this thing, super standard, 63 inch springs like we do on all of them. Can't go wrong with leaf springs in the back. <laughs> Garrick. So with the two five Fox coilovers in the front, I actually have smooth body two O's in the rear. Uh, with 63 inch springs and some homemade towers. Besides that, this thing is literally automatic stock case, put in four low, I'll go through the Rubicon, I'll go through four dice. So three, four has, you know, 200,000 miles on it like the rest of them. Leaks a little bit of oil, it's a good time. But the biggest thing to take with, away with this is with our kit, it goes into everything. You can, you can mix match parts. It is a full builder's kit at the end of the day. Like I always tell people like, you wanna change something about it? Let's change it, let's make something work. So this is just kind of an, the evidence that we can do all that. And, you know, obviously steering is a lot different on this than most of them. And I can help people out with getting steering like this. But yeah, this is just kind of a quick show of mine. We posted it a couple of times. Me and Sawyer made some cool videos with it. And everyone keeps asking me, hey, I want to see your, your 4Runner. I want to see your 4Runner. And so this is what we got with it.